Okay, now, now, calm down. This is not a new mod for Automo Blister. All right, all right, bear with me. I do play other games. Shock horror. And today, we get to play Vito VR. But if it makes you happier, it, it's Automo Blister 2. Okay. Um, <laughs> for those of you who haven't played this game, shame on you. Shame on you. If you've got VR, you need this game. Um, this is one of my favourite user-created missions. It's quite quick, so we'll just go straight into it. This would be where I would arm everything. But we're not shooting anything. So we're just going to launch into it. This is just a rescue mission. Get the old helmet on. And we're taking out the original aircraft, which is a VTOL. Vertical takeoff and landing. It's a, kind of a jet version of the Osprey. That makes sense to you. So we'll blast through this as quick as we can. Won't take long. Not played it for a while. The guy who created it just keeps adding more stuff. Um, so turn the battery on. Turn the APU on. Um, let's just turn one of these screens on. Go to S cam. Start it. Hello. So we've got a whole editing suite in here. Um, which is, uh, and we can actually move this around. The camera. So the editing suite is down here. So we'll give you a... Look, Mum, it's my face. Um, we'll give you a decent look of what's going on. Um, that's what we're flying. And now you can see what I can see. And you can see the screen I've just been playing around in. And if we just turn it off. Here we go. So, main battery on, APU on flip these up everything is on hand controls there's no joysticks or anything it's just headset and hand controls which just adds to it all um, so uh, engine one on we'll see the RPM coming up you've got quite a wide field of view so I'll uh, so you can see the revs coming up we'll fire this one on as well and uh, doors are closed brakes are on turn the brakes off that's all my comm stuff Fuel dump. All right, pilot, listen up. Right now, 90 clicks south from here, an oil rig's alarm is sounding off. A condescent ejection pump has failed, dooming the rig to blow within the hour. Do not waste time. A private security team is stranded and needs an evac immediately. Godspeed, pilot. Okay, then. Um... That's my call sign. Tower, this is Alpha 1 1, request takeoff over. Copy, taxi to runway 1 4. Okay, off we go. Now I can tilt the engines, you'll see on the hood on the top left where it says tilt. So I'll just put them on a normal as we come out. And then I'll use me a trigger on my hand controller just to put the brakes on. And I could take off normally if I wanted to. But I don't want to. We're going straight up. Now, if I twist this controller... Sorry, if I use the... I can't remember what I use now. Oh, I use the thumb stick. I can... Uh, use the rudder. We'll just rotate round. We'll push the nose down like a helicopter. Aircraft coming in to land down there. push the nose down turn hover mode off we'll start to get some forward momentum and we'll just uh, bank it off now I'll just start to uh, bring that throttle uh, sorry tilt those engines which you can't see forwards got a speed of 120 out just bring the nose up 
Maintain a heading of 130. Do not waste time gaining altitude. You have clearance to fly as low as you deem necessary. Not Over flown this for a while. To get these boys back. Okay, so what we're looking at here is... I'm bringing it on this heading. Landing gear. Landing gear. Flaps up, landing gear up. So get me lav lights on strobe. Don't need landing light instruments. Cockpit light. You can see a bit better. Turn that on. So whereas you'd have all of those like weird things on a keyboard, which doesn't work well in in um, VR, even like the instrument brightness, uh, it's all controlled by hand, so it's natural. Um, so what we'll do is we will go on our. Um, we'll hold altitude. This is the autopilot stuff, and we'll go on our heading, which you can see on here. Uh, we will zoom out on here so we can see what we're doing. So I can let go of this now. We're all happy. Uh, let's bring up these other screens. Now each of these screens, they've got a lot of things that you can bring up. Um, so we can bring up, say, a camera, target computer and we'll bring its uh, power on so there is a camera underneath looking forwards uh, let's just switch this to navigation it should turn us around onto this green line um, so yeah there's a camera underneath we can even put it on our head if I drop my visor I'm moving the camera so that's in night vision at the moment uh, we can say zoom in yeah and we can, can we can actually put the guns onto that cross site or we can mark out targets or whatever we can also more importantly look through the helicopter the helicopter it's a veto sorry um, so when we're landing obviously this is in the way we can actually for vertical landings we can look through the aircraft as it was um, so we'll put this back onto normal view, face forwards, in fact we'll line it up with the waypoint so it's looking at what we're going. Heads up display, again we've got all sorts that we can do with this, if I turn it down you'll see it a bit better. Um, so yeah it's got a marker in the middle, 26 nautical miles as to, to the target that's selected, speed engine tilt on the left um, altitude on the right heading at the top loads of information really easy to see um, that's it really over here we've got lots of buttons including our mp3 button lots and lots of buttons everything's interactable by hand as well so as I've said so let us have a look on here we'll just call up the objective keep it simple so save infantry there's seven of them we have to save at least four we've got some screens up here i've not turned on oops don't really need that but we'll have it on and there's our fuel the ab that's lit there is because i've got the afterburners on we're, we're coming in hot we can turn the apu off now oops and uh, yeah, this is VTOL. Our guys are going to go in the back there. And all the rest of it. In fact, if we go to S Cam so I can see what you're seeing. Um, let us go to. Because we're going to be landing now. So I'll change the mode. Hello, Mum. Um, we don't have a lot of time left. Rely on your training. Your target personnel has formed up beside the helipad awaiting your arrival. So you get to see the external view. So what I need to do now is change over to vertical. So you'll see the jets going into vertical mode. So of course my forward speed is going to come down. Put the air brakes on. It is on top. 
drop in the throttle, drop the gear, put the flaps to one just to get more speed off. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll uh, float in at 200 knots, which is a bit high. Autopilot disengaged. Okay, so we're uh, we're coming in 150 knots into this little bay area surrounded by uh, high hills. So we've got to land on the oil tanker. Oil tanker? There's no oil tanker here, sir. It'd be an oil rig. That's just blown up. You've not seen. So there's just been an explosion on the rig that you've not seen and part of it's fell off and it's all at a skew with angle now. I'm switching over to putting that camera I was showing you before. So I'm going to scrub this speed off now, lifting the nose up. Put it into hover mode. Gives me a little bit more control on the throttle. And now we're going to move in. So now we've, uh, we've come to a halt. got to try and get this on that thing there so we'll come over to a different mode you can look over my shoulder that's what I'm trying to land on right. so I need to move forwards That's better. Here we go. Autopilot disengaged. Okay, just getting everything set up. I'm trying to. Come on, it's taking forever. Okay, I can see my guys are all standing on the heli deck or to the edge of it rather. I can't come in this way because the rigs fell over a bit. So I need to uh, side swipe onto it and rotate. Yes, that is me leaning forward, literally leaning forwards. Okay, don't take your uh, your eyes off this, Owen. Try not to run them over. Down we go. Try and match the angle. It all gets a bit wobbly at this speed. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. Front's going to touch. Hold it on the brakes. Okay, so I now put the brake lock on. Open the doors. Should be good to go. Okay, the end you get. Let me get back to a mode where you can see what's going on. Uh, zoom in, give me a big wide angle. That's better. I think that's everybody in. Yeah. Close the doors. Tricky bit now get us off here yeah it's okay landing on flat surfaces but gear up spin it round 
again, we're going to push the nose forwards, take it out of hover mode. Got a bit of side swipe going on there. Whoop, 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 whoop. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. We're not landing, landing shut gear. up. Landing gear. My little Altitude. telltale's coming up. Altitude. 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 Okay. Altitude. Get off. Navigation, hold altitude. We can uh, let go of things now. So we've got. And it is running buttery smooth. With the 1080 Ti, we've got our guys in here. So we go back on here and we go to ooh, objectives. Got to drop the soldiers off at the nearby hospital. And break lock off. Uh, so we drop them off at the hospital, then land it. So again, this is VTOL VR. Um, uh, it's been around quite a while. It's a one-man dev team. He used to do mods for Kerbal Space Program. And he used to play a lot of um, DCS Flight Sim, which is a bit long in the tooth and not very good in... Uh, VR so he just made his own VR title up um, and lo and behold it's kind of regarded as one of the best VR flight sims around um, constantly updating it and new aircraft coming out all the time uh, so we've got this which is the original then we've got like a, um, a helicopter an F-16 a trainer t55 and we just got this big monstrous thing uh, which is like the tomcat um and where it's gone interestingly um in fact we'll we'll, we'll go here because i'm talking to you let me just straighten that up there you go so where it's gone is the helicopter the t55 and the Tomcat thing. Can't remember the name of them. Um, they're all twin seaters. So this, so it's you and your mate flying the aircraft at the same time in VR. And it all works in multiplayer as well, uh, where it can be PVE or PVP, the strike missions. Um, it, it's it, it, ridiculous. You then get into this whole, you, there's an editor where you can make your own missions and then you can put them out onto the workshop that's within the game this is a, a, a one such mission um, so you can make missions like this put it out and then people can just download it and play it and there's PvP and PvE missions as well to play online uh, that are user created and there's thousands of them a uh, really, really fantastic bit of software. If you've got VR, you need this. You really do need this. It is a really, really good. Um, so let us just... Uh, have a look up the uh, the little fjord that I'm going up. A great speed. There I am. Um, oh, that's looking at that. That's unusual looking at the camera trying to find that's the one I'll give you a tighter view should I give you to yeah I'll give you a tighter view we'll, we'll change the field of view as we run over this bridge um, okay bring back up objectives for me so we're 15 nautical miles away from this uh, hospital landing in fact, this is taking way too long. You don't want to watch me landing on a on a uh, a hospital. Tower, this is Alpha One One. Request landing over. Alpha One One Tower, copy. Fly heading three zero zero. Uh, expect runway three two. Roger that. 
So what we'll do is we'll, we'll bin this, these guys. Okay, so what we'll do is we will um, just come in for a landing. There's the runway there. So we'll just do a quick loop around this bay here and we'll just land it. Um, what normally would do is you land on top of one of those buildings over there get these out take off and come and land so you're not missing much other than me falling off a tower block so we're at 500 knots pull a bit of a high G turn again there's no flight sticks I'm just using my hands and it is completely as you can see controllable and back into that turn Okay, speeds down to 361, drop the gear, drop the flaps to 1, we're coming in for a steep one here, drop the power, this is a very steep one, scrub a bit more speed off, scrub a bit of altitude off, come back in, Okay, we are sinking like a brick, which is what I want. There we go. Telltale's back on my hood. That little fat aeroplane. And I want to put that on the end of the runway because that is where we are going to eventually hit the ground. Oh, that's where the aircraft is heading. It's going to be a bit of a long one, this. Never mind. We've got brakes. A bit wobbly coming in. Fat aircraft is good. Air brakes on. That looks good. Lift the nose a bit. We're down. And then we can taxi. Follow the taxi path to your parking area. It goes as far as if I zoom in on here, I can actually see my taxi path being shown on the GPS map and that will take me to the hangar so we'll just get off the runway here in case something's landing behind me it shouldn't be and that's it so we'll come to a halt put the brakes on Open the doors, let them get out if they really want to, and turn the engines off. <coughs> so that was a quick look at VTOL VR. Very quick look. Um, Elder staying in. Oh, and some of you may have noticed this. Bye. Adios. Uh. Oops.